Jersey Women's Bantamweight Division matchup. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have thrown that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. All right, so here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She goes with the right hand, and the left hook follows. It's always so tight, it's always so clean, and then outside leg kick. Every combination ends with a kick. When you think it's over, she is putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Love her. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 131 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the chosen one. All right, you can lose in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. You ready? So round one is underway. Going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out between one fighter who does everything well against kind of a striking specialist on the other side. And the problem with being a striking specialist is that you have to be upright. When you're facing a full-on mixed martial artist, expect a level change. We are going to see what type of improvement she's made in terms of defending herself in those wrestling situations. Wow, huge head kick. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Yes! Big kick land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Yeah. Able to check that kick as well. Big body kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Straight punch land. Right back in the clinch, look for the back hand to get very active. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Yeah. 
Oh, is that a huge kick to the body or what? Well, she's been good tonight, but she has choices I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. So there's the horn, the round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? She's got the right hand going tonight, DC. She's in a great flow, and she's throwing from her dominant side to land that great strike. Under two minutes to go. Big kick lands. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Oh, that's a good straight punch by her there. Nice combination of speed and power on that attempt. The speed and timing it takes to land a strike like this is beautiful. And she has that ability to do it multiple times a fight. What a body kick. Punch over top. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Get the turn in that kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Right hand upstairs. He's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off her finish the What a round. level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of it. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually, that's enough to end a fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Flush right hand is true. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Under two minutes now to go. Good punch. Big leg kick lands. Back and forth we go! Another clinch position. 
She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and there's another nice kick. Solid kicks across the board from her tonight. I mean, she throws the kick without any wind-up. There's no tell to when she's coming. Man, that is a hard inside leg kick. You wonder how many more she can take. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect, though. Big head kick land. She missed with that jab. Oh, she blocks the punch. Oh, nice uppercut. Yeah. There's that kick. Oh, a shot by her there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. All right, well, what a round it was. You know, she kicks like a mule, and that kicking game was on full display in that round, champ. And you see the damage that it's done to her opponent. Her opponent's limping back to the corner. She's moving much more slowly as the fight is going on. That was a great game plan developed by her and her coaches. This girl has great offense. You ready? You ready? Now let's go. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big and kick. Connection there. Nah, I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. I'm not sure her strike. Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Whoa! Trying to stay in this fight. I mean, geez, Louise. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Nice kick. Ten seconds to go in round four. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so a lot of strike absorption by her in that previous round. She got stunned on the feet, but survives to see another round. Talk us through the replay, man. You look at the action here. They're going back and forth, and boom! There goes that big strike that lands that really does hurt her opponent. She could not find the follow-up shot, but eventually she will find that moment. You ready? You ready? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. And she misses with the left punch there. Oh, big punch lands. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Nice right hand. Man, look at the redness almost immediately on the right side of her body. Look at the force behind that leg. Kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Right on the elbow. 
Certainly a strong front runner for fight of the night as we go down to the wire. She did not miss there. This could be the end. I mean, she hurt so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she stands. Oh, she now has her opponent on the ropes. She threw her entire body into that massive uppercut, and she is seeing the rewards of her hard work. And she lands very effectively. Final 10 seconds of the fight. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 49-46, and 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the chosen. Well, you gotta figure her challenges are only gonna get stiffer from here, but she passed this test tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And she needed this, right?